Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a weekly tarot reading for my Capricorns for the week starting December 21st, 2015. And if you like to have a private reading from me, you can send me an email at ggleetarot at gmail.com. And if you can subscribe to my channel, I would be very appreciative. You can also like and share my videos with your friends and family. And so before recording the video, I always meditate and shuffle the cards. And let's see what we have for this upcoming week for my Capricorns. So in the past position, we have the Ten of Swords. I feel that at this moment, Capricorn, you're really, really exhausted. You're tired. Um, I mean, I say this also because Mars is still in your 10th house and it's not really the most, uh, powerful house for Mars because Mars is exalted in Capricorn. So even if it's in the 10th house of, you know, uh, of, uh, of its, of its house, which is Libra, 10th house away from Capricorn is Libra. It's not fully comfortable. So you're you're tired. I think you have been doing a lot of um, working around people or working around schedule, having things done nonetheless, but you're coming in this week exhausted. It's 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 good that it's the end of the week, um the end of the month, the end of the year, I mean, sorry. Because you otherwise you will just continue. You really have to sometime take a step out of the drama just to nurture yourself and now the spirit is telling you for Capricorns you know this is a general reading that you're now you're very tired okay it'll be better though in January because you'll have Mars in your uh, friend a friendly sign Scorpio it'll be in your 11th house and it's actually his house it's very powerful and it's your house of of profit so whatever you're so house of profit and gains and network, among other things. But whatever you have been putting seeds and you're thinking to yourself, oh, there's going to be a process and you're meeting obstacle. Once you move into Scorpio, you'll get a lot of things back to you that'll be, you know, uh, that'll be positive. A lot of gain, approval, you know, a lot of important people coming in to help you out. Like you'll see results for sure. Okay, but I suggest you to take some time, you know, during the holidays to, you know, really unwind. And I suggest you to do so because you may not do it. Maybe you're like, no, 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 I need to work. It's overtime. But, you know, you will feel very exhausted. Okay. So let's see what we have in the present position for next week for Capricorn. The Six of Pentacles. Again. This is a, um, a tarot deck, but it's by Morgan Greer. I really love this deck because it just sometimes it's good to step out of the regular deck to just get a different type of energy. It shows that you'll get uh, money enough to not only pay some debts, but to help others. So, you know, uh, for you Capricorns probably listening to this, you're thinking to yourself, oh, but then I'm just going to work. Because I know it'll get results. Of course, it'll get results because at the end of the day, you have Mars in your 10th house and Libra. So, yes, if you work, you got, if you want to work, you're going to get the work. And so you could decide to do whatever you want with it. I see that you'll be sharing, probably because also it's the holidays. Some of you also is your birthday period. So, you know, happy birthday for those early, early Capricorns. But this money will be used, and this this, mon this money you, you'll receive, okay? For those that are wondering if they'll get the hours or the money that they need, yes, you'll get. Okay, you'll, you'll get it, and not only that you'll get it, you'll have enough to do other things that you're expecting to do, such as, you know, giving to other people or treating yourself with a gift, and let's see what we have for you, uh, Capricorn, in the future position for next week. The Empress. 
I hope you guys really do nurture yourself. Because that's what it means. The, the, uh, the um, Empress is Venus. And the most feminine of all any archetype in the deck. Any court. Um, queen. And of course, because it's a major arcana. And it's just, it's Venus. So she's the queen of it all. So it shows that you'll be pampering yourself. And spirit is asking you to pamper yourself. Spirit is asking you to nurture yourself. Spirit is wants you to take the time to unwind. Enjoy the company of others. Connect with nature. It's okay. Take the time to do it. You have done a lot of work through the year. You know. And uh, now, you know, it's time to just, this time for everything in life, Capricorn. So remember, you'll get enough money. You see, you'll get enough money. So it's okay. Go ahead. Enjoy yourself. I feel that you, you, you'll do that with ease because Venus is also in Scorpio in your 11th house. So, you know, it's a comfortable place for Venus because Venus is all about money. So it also means that if you nurture yourself or if you pamper yourself, you decide to do an air cut, you'll gain from it. Maybe, you know, you'll have a, a meeting or unexpected uh, supper or event and you'll already have your nails done. You know, your hair will be done. You're going to get something from just nurturing yourself. So go ahead, do it. Do it. And uh, I trust you enjoy it as well, Capricorn. Let's see what we have for you, my Capricorns, in a position of outcome for next week. We have here the Ten of Wands. Already loading your work. You know, it's as if you're spending money, and as much as you're spending, you're already thinking how to make more, how to work. You just can't get away. I say this because you have the Ten of Swords, which is a warning of you being really exhausted. But you looking after money, you know, Capricorn, they need that stability. So you're looking after money, you have money, you need money, whatever your, your you know, your sentiment is at this moment. At least I'm happy you value yourself because this has a major arcana in your reading, Capricorns. Um, override any other energies. It says that, you know, that the main thing is for you, I, keep, I said it initially, nurture yourself, make sure you don't push yourself, but you will do all that. And now that we have the Ten of Wands in the position of the outcome, it's like, that's why I say it's a never-ending cycle with Capricorn. You can't tell them to take a break. You know, they need to take a break when, I guess, everybody else take a break. So now it's the holidays. For sure, there will be businesses closed, so they won't be able to work at least a day or two. <laughs> um, no, I see this with a lot of affection for my, my Capricorn, myself as a Scorpio. I have a little sister. She's a Capricorn, and it's, she has my heart. She's also very industrious. You know, those workers and they need results. But anyways, it's it's for you, the Ten of Wands is just coming in the position of the outcome. Like I said, you know, it's your birthday month in January. So at least try to get some time for yourself, you know, um, more than what you would want to. But what I have as an energy in this reading is you're already booking yourself. As like I said, as much as money comes out, you're already thinking of working to have the money back in. Mm. But in a way, I feel that even if there's two tens in this reading, there's a certain amount of balance. So you spending, you know, sharing, taking care of yourself, you working, then, you know, being tired. Making money, sharing, it's just like there's an amount of balance there, which shows that at least you're nurturing yourself. You're also sharing with people. You're paying your debts. You're being somehow responsible with your money. 
so it's it's a great exchange it's a it's a good energy just try not to overextend yourself or like i said if you have day off and you feel like standing at staying at home and just watch tv maybe that would be the best thing for you to do so i will leave you on this my beautiful capricorn and i trust you enjoyed this reading if you did please subscribe to my channel i would be very appreciative you can also like and share my videos with your friend and family i'm sending you lots of kissing i love you my dear capricorn bye